My name is Robert Noyce. I was born in 1927 in Burlington, Iowa, and grew up with good middle American values. In 1945, I began attending Grinnell College in Iowa, where I learned about William Shockley's invention, the transistor. The concept hit me like the atom bomb. It was brilliant, along with its inventor, William Shockley. I went on to study at MIT, and by the time I graduated in 1953, I was an expert in transistors. So when Shockley called me, asking me to join his new company, I was dumbfounded. It was like talking to God. But the idea and practicality of working with him were two different things. In 1957, I left, along with seven other co-workers, a revolutionary concept at the time, and founded Fairchild Semiconductor in Santa Clara Valley. It was a vacant valley in the middle of nowhere, but our business flourished there. With each new idea, two or three new companies would be created. Eventually, Santa Clara Valley was filled with high-tech companies and was called Silicon Valley. My name is Lafayette Rivers and I live in Horner Park, Chicago. It's a war zone. A war zone ruled by feudal lords like Jimmy Lee. He rules with an iron fist. But my dad was never around to protect me and my older brother Terrence left a long time ago. That meant I had to be the man of the house at 12, which is why I'm so protective of my younger brother. His name is Pharaoh, and he's only nine. I worry about him because he spends most of his time zoned out, and he stutters a lot. I hope that we make it out. If I grow up, I want to be a bus driver. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have quite a show for you. You are about to witness a fight that will bring in the 21st century. Now let me introduce you to the contestants. In this corner, we have a man who is as smart as he is smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Silicon Valley, Robert Noyce. And in this corner, you know him as the child who pulled on your heartstrings. He's the son Oprah always wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, Lafayette Rivers! Let me begin, like I always do. I started Silicon Valley, what did you ever do? You're just another child of the lost generation. It's nowhere close to my level of education. Now I hear your neighborhood is glum and blue. It makes children like you grow up too soon. But the conditions that you live in are all on you. You could have ran away, but you stayed like glue. Maybe you've got some brains, but I'm wise beyond my ears. I survived the death train without showing any fear. Let's see you stay cool in the middle of a war and not be the fool who can't fall to the floor. I am only 12 and I'm head of my home. So why would I ever leave all that I know? What is that, a joke? Do you want me to grow? Because your chances of winning, I'm saying this, you saying no. Yes, but I don't kid, yet I have hundreds of children. The mother is my company, the father is my brilliance. My whole ideology is found on an innovation. I helped put a man on the moon for this great nation. I don't expect anything from people like you. You make all the money, while we get screwed. You claim to love innovation, but I see is degradation. My rules are drug lords. What you talking about a nation? Wait, are you a red? No, nah, are you a fed? No. Well, then what more needs to be said? Well, I'm a technological type who created the modern world. I don't see a modern world, only broken boys and girls. Is it really my job to pay for your life? Maybe we should switch places and that'll make things all right. For sure, I'm happy to pitch in here and there, but after a while, I'll have nothing to spare. Okay, you may be right, you shouldn't pay for my life, but that doesn't give you the right to watch me struggle in my fight. Speaking of fights, this is one you're about to lose, and like the gunshots, this will all be over soon. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Noyce has just knocked out Lafayette Rivers. But wait, someone is here to help Lafayette. Some kind, generous soul. Ladies and gentlemen, Pharaoh Rivers! Hi, my name's Pharaoh and I don't run from fights and I never feel terror because I got Ricky on my right. You may have smarts and charm, but I do have friends. If you went to my school, you would make it through first grade. Ha, your name is Pharaoh. What are you king of? Beavers? You just stutter so much. You should be king for its house cleaner. You say you never feel terror, but I know you scared people on the train, so let me inform you. I'm about to ride your way. Don't you dare talk about giving my brother pain, because I will make sure you never see the light of day. But in the meantime, I call you Judas, because you talked to God on the phone. Then you worked for him and left him when he needed you most. Your mama calls you Laffy. What are you, some taffy? I could buy your neighborhood upgrade it and make everybody happy. I never talked to God, only to men I admired. Like Jimmy Lee, he had an ego and a greedy desire. 
You once said money's just a way to keep score. Well, if that's true, let me put a few on the board. Why would I give my money to someone whose biggest dream is to drive the RV for all the homeless and creeps? Because if you don't, then I'll tell everybody how you ate your mayor's pig because you thought it was funny.